This movie is for those of you who are using ScreenFlow Pro on your Macintosh to make screen capture uh, movies with. And then let's say that you want to publish these to YouTube. What's the optimal way to do that? Well, first of all, uh, if you are like me, I have a, a, an iMac with uh, one of the 24-inch uh, screens. You'll, um, you'll have to contend with the fact that the dimensions of the screen, which at high resolution uh, is 1920 by 1200. Uh, 1920 by 1200 uh, is not, uh, does not have the same proportions as the ideal resolution for high definition video through YouTube, which uh, is really based on a 720p standard. 720p itself um, uses a, uh, a uh, let, me verify, let me look this up, uses a 1280 by uh, 720 um, pixel resolution. So 720 by 1200 is not proportionally the same as the default screen size on my Mac, uh, 1920 by 1200. Let me show you here on a little calculator. So uh, this calculator simply takes the 1920 by 1200 screen resolution and then it tries to reduce it down to the to the closest equivalent uh, 1280 uh, on the length and as you can see the height is 800 not 720. Because of that if I were to try and publish uh, this short 12 second movie that I put up on YouTube um, based upon my full screen resolution let me show you what I get. Let's put it right over here. And if you look uh, at, at this little quick test that I put up here in YouTube. Here's a quick test. Where I'm You're going to see that our perfect circle is squished on the top. And YouTube did that in order to try and fit it into its uh, 720p uh, oriented uh, screen resolution is how it does the conversions. So you're going to end up with that if you don't do something about it. So here's what I would recommend doing. Now I just recorded this at full screen resolution. Now I want to publish it to YouTube. So what I would do is down here in the lower left hand corner you can resize the canvas area. So I'm going to select that and as you can see right down here it's telling us that the canvas area is 1920 by 1200. Now what I want to do is I want to change this. So I'm going to drop this down to um, to our other to, to the resolution which would normally be used and again that resolution I just want to make sure I'm getting this right because I don't do this a lot myself uh, would be 1280 by 720. So I'll just go 1280. Let's make sure I'm in here. Okay, 1280 by 720. Now here's the actual size that we're going to be publishing at. Now the next thing that I would do is apply that to my recording, and then I would choose the the movie that I had rendered, which is right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to size this down until it fits. So I'm going to get my sides right and then I'm going to bring it down. Now what you're going to see is that I can't get the entire screen this way. I'd have to either drag it down here or put it up there. So this is kind of the caveat that you're going to have to deal with. If you really want to get the whole screen in there, your only other alternative is going to be to continue to scale it down and have a little empty area on the sides, which doesn't hurt, and you could certainly do that. So those are your two choices, and um, the you know the best way to deal with it, it, you can make your choice. Now, once you've actually sized it down to the size that you want, um, even though you're going to have to cut off a little bit on the bottom or the top, um, once you've done that, you can publish it to YouTube very easily um, using ScreenFlow. It has a built-in publish to YouTube feature. So if you have a YouTube account, then what you would do is come down here and just use the publish to YouTube capability. And when you do that, it'll ask you to log in. 
and once you've signed into YouTube you can choose the category you want to put it in and you can call it test 2 and it tells you what the required fields are here you see so make sure that you use those and another test and then a required tag so I'll just put down movie test now you have the option of publishing for HD so choose that there and then just click publish and then what will happen a few moments later if I go back to YouTube now is it will uh, let me go back to my videos is this is the the second test right here test 2 and so this one when I view it here's a quick gives you a perfect circle and you'll notice that I have all of these high quality options here I can reduce the quality or I can even take it all the way up to 720 so that's basically the way that you do that good luck